everyone welcome or welcome back to the nail co so for this week's video i am bringing you a list of about three names that are short and sweet so all of these names have three letters only so the majority of these names are definitely more unique and rare there are a couple that are not so much but i wanted to include them so if you are into these type of names let's go okay okay so these first two names i'm going to be sharing with you remind me of the name mia so the first one i have is pia so pia is spelled with a p so p-i-a and pia happens to mean pious i also have the name fia so mia but with an f I love the meaning of Fia. It had multiple origins and meanings, but my favorite was wild. I just think that's such a fun meaning for a name. You could also do Via, so you got the letter V. And I also have Leah, but with an L. And Leah can be spelled various ways, but for this video, I did the L-I-A spelling, or you could even do like L-E-A. Moving along to something that's probably not as unique, but still fun. I have the name Ray, so it's gender neutral. Ray means female shepherd. Another gender neutral name I also really love is the name Noah. So Noah spelled N-O-A. I think that's just such a fun spin on like the more common masculine Noah, but N-O-A just feels a bit more feminine. And in doing my research, I learned that it has various origins, one of those origins being Japanese. And in Japanese, Noah means love and affection. So I really like that personally. And next I have the name Ani or Annie. I think it just depends on how you want to pronounce it. It's spelled A-N-I, it is Hawaiian and means beautiful. I think that one's a bit spunky and unique. I also have the name Glow, I love this, G-L-O. I think it's so fun, so vibrant, so vivacious. And it means to shine softly. That's a really cute, sweet meaning. I have Exa next, which is definitely very unique. This is a Hebrew name that means adorned. Following Exa, I have the name Ina. And Ina is a Scottish name that means home or to entertain, but I really like that one personally. And then I have the name Els. I think Els is so fun. This is just such a fun name to me. Like when I came across it, I was instantly in love. L happens to be one of my favorite names. And I just think there's something so fun about Els. It's definitely a nicknamey name. A lot of the names on this list kind of have like a nicknamey vibe to them since they're so short. But I am here for Els. Els is a Hebrew name that means devoted to God. I now have the name Isa. And Isa is the I S A. Isa means strong woman and has German origins. I then have the name Val. Val is also probably more gender neutral. I love the nickname Val for the name Valerie or even Valentina, but I think it's also a beautiful name on its own. Val means strength. And then you could also do, I forgot to talk about this name when I was mentioning alternatives for the name Mia. I also have the name Zia. And Zia has multiple origins, including light, green, and splendor. I think Zia is really pretty. It's definitely also, I think, a good choice if you like the name Zoe. You could do Zia instead. Z-I-A, Zia. I have Rue next. Rue is one of my favorite names, and there's just so many fun ways you could spell this one. But for this video, it's R-U-E. And Rue has a couple meanings, one of them being related to an herb, and then another one that's not so positive, and that's a regret. The next name I have for you is T-E-A, which is pronounced Taya. I think Taya is such a fun and cute name. When I saw this, I've never heard it before, and I really, really liked it. It means gift of God or wild rose. I now have the name Lo. I love the name Lo. I saw, like, I remember watching, like, Laguna Beach and the hills growing up, and um, one of the Laurens on that show, all her friends called her Lo. I just think that's such a very like chic name. Uh, I think it's really cool on its own too. And in doing my research, I discovered that it has Hawaiian origins and it can mean king. And then I have the name Ea, which has various meanings, including one being Japanese and it can mean colorful. I think this is a great alternative to the name Ava. So you have Ava, but then you could do Ea. Very similar sound, but not Eva. I now have the name Lei. I love this name. Like I like the nickname Lele, but I think Lei in itself is very pretty. Lei means from the barn, but I think this is so pretty, just the sound of it. And then I also have the name Liv. So Liv is typically, what I've noticed, is a nickname for the name Olivia, and it means life. And then I have like a really fun, unique name, and that's the name Era. I think Era sounds so distinct and regal and just 
beautiful. I noticed some of the names I saw were related to wind or air, but era, I love that. I have another Japanese origin name and that's the name Rio. So Rio has many origins, but specifically in Japanese, it means place of the cherry blossoms. But I think Rio is very pretty. And then I have Icy, which is so fun. And doing some of my research, I read that it's typically like a nickname for the name Iceland, which is very pretty, but I think Icy on its own is very cool. Definitely unique, definitely rare. Another fun, unique name I found that's rare is the name Mar, and Mar is Latin and means of the sea. And then I also have the name Aura. So I think there's just such a very soft and pretty sound to the name Aura, O-R-A. Aura, and this is a Latin name that means prayer. One of my faves from the list is the name Lua. Lua is L-U-A, and Lua happens to mean moon. While I'm Lua, I have the name Sea, which is spelled S-E-A, so it looks like sea, but it's Sea. Sea means of the ocean, but I think Sea is so pretty. And then I have the name Crew, and Crew is definitely, I feel like, more masculine leaning, and people typically pick that for a boy but I particularly love it as a name for a woman I think there's just something so cool about the name crew it just sounds good I also have another fun one and that's the name Zep so Zep is typically a nickname for like a name like Zeppeli which is very pretty or Zephyr names like that but I like Zep on its own it sounds fun it sounds so cool and like edgy I really like that one. And then I have true, which is spelled T-R-U, and true means a loyal one. And to complete our list, I have a, another Japanese-inspired name, and that's the name Mio. I think Mio is so pretty. Great alternative to the name Mia. So you have Mia, but then you have Mio with the O, and Mio means beautiful cherry blossom. So that's gonna complete this video for today. Feel free to leave me some comments below, letting me know what were some of your favorite names for this video, and some of your favorite three letter girl names. I plan to make a, another video similar to this in the future with four lettered unique girl names. So at any rate, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch. If you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Your support is immensely appreciated. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Happy YouTube watching.